Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here. And if you've ever struggled with portrait lighting in the past, I think you're going to find this video extremely helpful. Now here's who this video is for. If you don't have access to a full-time studio, if you don't have a ton of strobes, if you don't have a ton of different lighting modifiers, then this video is going to be extremely helpful for you. Now it's set a light 3D version 2.0. That's what it's called. It's software. And what it does is it helps you to create different lighting scenarios before you ever get into the studio. So you can experiment with this software and try out different lighting setups with different lighting modifiers and really dial in a shot before you get into the studio. So if you're like me, you have to rent studio time. You might only have two or three hours with a model. And then most of the time is spent playing around with your lights, trying to getting that perfect lighting setup. And if you're not shooting tethered, then you've got this little image on the back of your camera. And it can be really hard to really figure out what it is that you want to get. And then next thing you know, the last five minutes of the shoot is the best. And then you didn't really capture as many great images as you could have. Anyway, enough talking about that. That's why I think this is an important piece of software, but let's get into how it works. So for starters, you can create some lighting scenarios based on some of these recipes that they have for you. So they have a bunch of different lighting setups that you can start with. So if you're not sure what type of lighting setup you like or what type of modifiers, you can go through these images and you could say, hey, I found this rather interesting. That's kind of a nice sitting pose. Or this is, you know, a pose for couples. Or you could say, all right, I kind of like this lighting on the background. How did they do that? So there's a lot of different shots that could sort of start sparking your creativity as far as uh, some of the things that you can create with props or without props but everything is basically configurable. And one of the things I really like is you can change the gels. So for example, if I click on this light here, I can see the color temperature and I can see the gel. Now, if I click on this, I have access to a bunch of different gels. Now these are lead gels that you can get at say B&H Photo. All you have to do is experiment and say, let's try 135 dark orange. Wow, I like that. You can order this gel and then you could recreate this type of scenario. Now, not only do you have all of these pre-configured lighting recipes, but you can start from scratch. So let's just go through some of the different aspects of this software. It can do so much stuff. So let's start at the top right-hand side. Now you can see this would be the viewpoint of looking through your lens. Now, if you don't have a full frame camera, you click here, you can change it to the type of camera you have. You can change the lenses. So if you only have a zoom lens or you only have a fixed 50, you can change it to that. You can see we have our shutter speed, our aperture, our ISO, our color temperature. So if your strobes are maybe 5,500, you can dial that in. So you can really control every aspect. Now also we can turn each one of these lights on and off and see the type of effect that it has. So let's say this is a three light setup and you only have two. Let's see how we can make just the two lights work. Not only can you do that, but you can click here and you can change the modifier. So if you only have, say, a beauty dish and say, well, let's try the beauty dish. That's all I have. So you can try that. You can experiment. Also, if you click here, you can see they have different strobes. There's the 8600, which I own. But let's say maybe you only have a 250 watt strobe. Well, you can switch that. So if it's a situation where you can see beforehand if you have enough power for that shot. And then again, you can change the height. You can see these arrows. That gives you an indication. So we can go higher. We can go lower. We can change the angle of our modifiers. So I'm spinning the strip bank there. We can move this closer to the model. If we go to the bottom there, you can see we can go closer. And also you can see here, this is in feet. But if you use metric, if you go up to settings, you can change that to metric. So you could see the approximate distances of the different modifiers for each shot. So I'm just going to discard any of these changes. These are just the lighting recipes. But you can see here, we have total control of every light in a scene. And so this could really allow you to dial in a shot before you ever get to your location. And that will really help you to save time, especially if you're renting a studio, you only have an hour or two, you could already get this in your mind and then say, hey, I've got this idea for this shot. Let's try this out. And like I said, there's a ton of different lighting recipes here. And like I said, everything about this is configurable. Now, if we click this little sort of arrow here, we could switch the image to the left. We could have this image to the right. We could switch that. On the bottom here, we have a top-down view. We have a set list. And then this will tell us everything that's involved in this shot as well. And then we can also drag and drop this interface around. So if we want more access to a certain part here, we can just click and move things around. 
you could see these are constant lights in this shot. So we have access to constant lights. We have strobe lights. And if you look at the bottom here, we can also switch the models. So for example, let's say that you were going to shoot with a model that had blonde hair. You could choose a different hairstyle and you could choose light colored hair. You could choose a reddish color. You could use a dark color. Let's say if it's more of a style like this, you could do that. If you're going to do shoot with hats, you could sort of figure out where that shadow is going to fall and where you should place your light. So that's kind of a cool thing too. You also have access to glasses, which isn't going to work with that kind of hat shop. You can see if you know you're going to be shooting with glasses. You can also control the hardness of the fabrics. So if you're shooting with, say, a leather jacket, you could take that hardness slider and you could go left or right and you could sort of play with how the reflection might hit that as well. And then again, here we go with a hat with a shot there. And you can see how that brim and that shadow, that's kind of a cool look. And then you can see here how we have this hard light source creating this shadow behind your subject. And there's just so much that you can do beforehand. Now, if you're only a speed light user, then we also have speed lights that we can use as well. Now, you can also drag and drop any of these options onto the canvas and you can create your own lighting setup. So you don't have to be just restricted to what they have. That's just kind of a way to sort of spark some ideas for you. Now there's also props. So you can create a little set beforehand. And like I said, you've got permanent lights here. So constant light sources, speed lights, model lights, different models. You have men and women, you have older men, you have different hairstyles. And all you have to do is just drag and drop everything onto the timeline. But instead of going through everything, I suggest that you download the free trial and check it out. So I'll put a link to this software in the description box below this video. And you can try this out for 15 days for free and see if it's something that would help you with your portrait lighting. So I'll put a link to it below. It's called Satellite 3D version 2.0. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions about this software, then just leave them in the comment section below. And if you're not already a subscriber, then just click on subscribe. I come out with a weekly video every single week. And if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. All right, thanks for watching this video. And like I said, the link to this software is in the description box below. All right, I'll see you in the next one.